I have here the side apron, one of the side aprons on this Sheraton folding table. So uh, this, this happens to be the left side apron, which you can't see in this picture. But I'm getting ready to do the veneering. I've outlined the shape of the veneer. There's a banding that goes across the bottom here. There's a center panel, and then there's uh, banding that will go around, surround that panel. Then there'll be, well, then, yeah, then there's going to be some cross-banded mahogany that has to go in uh, around that banding. So I've cut the a piece of crotch cypress that will be this center panel here. Now, a lot of times with crotch veneer, I press it overnight with some moisture and it flattens it quite a bit. That does help, but I think I can get away with doing this without flattening it. And I want to place it, it's oversized. Uh, and then I trim it while it's still wet to the proper size. I want to place it about like this. And get that stuck down and then trim it to size. So I've got the hot hide glue here and I'm going to try to work a little bit fast. This is a big piece here and the, the glue is going to dry, start gelling on me if I'm not fast enough. So I'm going to first mop it on to the pants, the side piece here, apron. And then I'm going to start to get this covered. Both surfaces need to be covered. Wow, that's soaked in. I can see the dry spots already. And I think I want to turn this over and work it this way. Although it seemed to grab a little bit better. Now well, this is fine. Yeah, let me get some more heat on there. And I think I'm ready to start with the veneer hammer here. So I'm trying to get the bubbles out of here, get, get the extra glue out. Get that to start, that glue to start to tack it down. Well, 
there's some spots where I will probably have to work it with some heat later. Oh, actually, I think it seems to be down pretty good. So I'm going to stop with the hammering here. Ooh, this is, I see this isn't down right. Okay. I want to trim this thing now. So let me kind of clean up here a little bit and get rid of some of this glue, extra glue on here. this right now. Okay, I'm going to just cut this off right here so that I'm not overhanging the edge because I want to use that straight edge. Well, actually, I'm going to be okay because it's, I can, I can get a cutter in there. So I need to get a cutter set to the dimension that I need from this edge and from this edge and slice that. 